from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Finney. Greg Diaz, your full weather forecast coming up. Today, the city of Tampa is hosting a boat parade and celebration for the Bolts after they won the Stanley Cup for the second year in a row. We have complete coverage on our streaming news channel on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple, and Apple TV, as well as abcactionnews.com. Let's drive Tampa Bay forward now. There's a meeting tonight in Pinellas County to discuss changes to 19. The stretch of road between 580 and County Road 95 is considered dangerous. A high number of crashes have been reported in the area for years now. The proposal would add a concrete barrier wall between the north and southbound lanes and a frontage road for business access. A new interchange is also planned for Curlew in 19. Construction is expected to start in 2022. The meeting is at 6 p.m. tonight and there are multiple ways you can attend. You can either do a drive through from 6 to 7 at the Pinellas County Clerk of Court Office or take part in a virtual event or even by phone. We have information on these on abcactionnews.com. Red Tide cleanup efforts will shift in Pinellas County today. The contractor overseeing the Red Tide cleanup will find out this morning where the county wants to send them next. Cleanup efforts continued through the weekend, and we were told there were so many dead fish in some waterways you could barely even see the water. Things are looking a lot better now as they work to clear the entire channel. That contractor, DRC Emergency Services, had eight boats out. They say this is just about the worst they've ever seen in the intercoastal waterways. On Sunday, they filled nearly a dumpster full of dead fish. If you do have beach plans this week, you'll want to check the red tide conditions. You can find a map on a special section of our website. Just go to abcactionnews.com slash red tide. Snowcat Ridge in Pasco County, Florida's first snow park is set to reopen in November with some new attractions. You know, last year, you'll remember the park closed in its first month of opening after inspectors found safety violations. They fixed the problems and reopened, but then it closed again for the season in January, two months early. It will open this year with some new attractions, an outdoor ice skating rink and the Eskimo outpost with eight private igloos you can rent. Let's get over to Greg D with a look at the forecast. Thunderstorms in the forecast for this afternoon and evening, Sarah, and some of these unusual for the middle of July could be strong to severe temperatures near 90 by 2 or 3 o'clock. Some of the activity could already be developing around the region. It'll be hit and miss at first then widespread. The evening should start uh, pretty stormy and end that way too with areas of rain. I'll be posting updates on the storm on my Twitter feed at Greg D weather, Sarah. Thank you so much, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day in our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire, Android, and Apple TV.